Hey, what's up, what's up, what's up? This is Actors Daily Bread. Who happy, what's today? Tuesday, happy Tuesday. Today I'm gonna teach you my number one tip for crushing your self-tape. My number one tip. I actually just taught it to one of my private clients. Shout out to Stephanie. Kill that audition we just did. You got this. But I want to teach you my number one tip. So if that is interesting to you, stick around. This is Actors Daily Bread. I'm Christine Horn, professional working Hollywood actress of 20 plus years, and I'm a life and career coach for actors. And if you are tuned in, you're tuned into Actors Daily Bread. This is where I teach you how to crush your auditions, book more work, and live a life you love. And this is episode 102. What's up? I see Tarnisha Small, Tony Hughes, and Tanika Porter in the house. What's up? For all my people watching, Give me some hearts and likes. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure you hit the subscribe button that you see anywhere around here. So I'm going to dive right in. I'm not going to waste any time. Why? Because I was supposed to go out of town to shoot a TV show Thursday, and I've been bumped up a day. So now I have, I'm have i scrambling, and I need to pack tonight to leave in the morning. So that's a little bonus tip. If you say you're local hire, boo, you better be local and be ready to act accordingly. So I'm a little exhausted, but it's okay. Um, but I do want to give you my number one tip for crushing your self-tape. Um, and I want to give a huge shout out to all my loyal watchers. I love you guys. To so all my replay watchers who will watch this later, you know the deal. What's up? Replay watchers, love you guys. So it made me, I didn't know what I was going to talk about today because I usually never do. But when I had my session, um, I was like, Oh, that's a good thing I want to share with you guys. And that's how I get inspired a lot of times. So if you have an idea for a video topic, some of you are really great at inboxing me, messaging me, tagging me on posts. If you have an idea, something that you haven't seen covered that you like a little bit more, let me turn this fan on. If you want a little more, um, what's the word? If you want me to go a little deeper on a subject, please let me know and leave it in the comments below and I will add it to my Evernote. It's loud. I'm trying to turn my fan on. Hold on. Fan trying to upstage me. So here's my number one tip. I'm going to keep this short and sweet. So a lot of you, most of you, no matter where in the world you are, if you're an actor, outside of theater, certainly, and even, honestly, even theater sometimes, y'all have to take too. But I'm, my focus is really on helping actors who want to do more film and television. That's just my sweet spot. Um, whether you are self-taping at home or whether you have get, been called in, to an audition, like in LA, you get called in often to, to read for a casting director, maybe producers, but you're still on tape. Like the show I was telling you guys about that I shot last week, um, I got called in and I read, I thought it was just for the casting director and it turned out it was 10 producers in the room. Surprise, 10 people in the room, but there was still a camera. What's up, Arisha? I see you joining, glad to have you here. So even though there were 10 producers in the room, Looking like, impress us, lady, with your acting. <laughs> there were 10 producers and a casting director. There was still a camera. And the only thing I was worried about, not worried, that's not a good way to say it. The only thing I concerned myself with was that camera. So sometimes I hear actors say, and I've said it too, I just want to get in the room. You know, let me get, get in the room and I'm going to kill them. They're going to be so dazzled by my personality and my outfit. And that's great. That does count. Your charisma, how you walk in the room, your presence, your essence definitely is, is very important. However, if you don't work that camera, whatever dazzling you did may not stand up to, to, to what you did on that camera. There are some people who are, you ever see a pretty person and they're real cute until they take a picture? You'd be like, she cuter in person. That, that picture don't do you justice. <laughs> you ever seen that? Or it might be you. I'm sorry if, it's, if that's you. But that's the difference between working the room and working the camera. So I don't, I want you to know, <laughs> y'all are laughing with me. Y'all know I'm telling the truth. So the same thing happens with us as actors. So we have to know that even though we're working the room, the reason why I was telling um, Stephanie, who I just coached, and y'all send some good vibes. I want everybody to say, get booked in the comments. Say, get booked. She has a big audition. Some of y'all may have some big auditions. Let's all write, get booked in the comments. I'm going to start the party. Get booked. I want any of y'all who got some auditions in the works, get booked. Send that. Because the more booking energy you send to others, that energy will come back to you. That's something me and one of my very, very good friends, Sekhan Sengla, big Broadway television star, 
uh, we always say that to each other. Girl, send me that booking energy. Send me that booking juice, right? So send that energy out. That, that's abundance. The more you put out, the more that comes back. That's just a rule. That's law. And the more you embrace that and start hating and being jealous of other people, the more you will see things change in your life. I truly believe that the way I give to you all almost every day has a big impact in my career and my life. So I want you to take heed to that. But to my point, whether you are at home by yourself, with your husband, with your girlfriend, with your wife, taping, or in that casting room for a producer session, here is my number one tip for crushing your self-tapes. It's to get, listen, <clears throat> the number one tip is for you to start understanding your isms. I'm gonna put that in the comments. Your isms, that's a technical term called your ISMs, your isms. So what do I mean? We think we're regular and fine. We're great actors until we get on camera. And then all of a sudden, you all your isms show up. So here's an example of mine. I'm gonna be transparent like I always am with you. The reason why I wasn't booking a few years ago was guy, I had a lot of isms. Let me show you what they were. I'm gonna bring a little closer. This is what I used to do. I'd be like, hey, Arisha, how you doing? Like, how you doing? I, why, where's it? Where is it going? Like how, what time is the party? I was blinking uncontrollably, eyebrows on fleek. Like who talks with the eyebrows that no one is talking? All of a sudden, when I, the, ta the camera turns on, I'm like eyebrows on, ain't got no, I got these almost whoopy eyebrows. Eyebrows on fleek, blinking nonstop. No one talks like this. If someone was talking to you like this, you'd be like, I'm not trusting them. And then I would have this thing where I would shake a lot, like a little Parkinson's or something, like little, I don't know what I was doing. Like, I be, cause in my mind I was emoting, right? So I'd be like, no, you don't understand. <laughs> now see, I'm glad I'm, I'm loosening, loosening up the energy here and laughing, but here's the re reality. And here's the key to why you may not be booking as much as you would like to book. You have some isms that you have not. Y'all, the laughs coming on the screen is tickling me. I love you guys. But you have some isms that you're doing that you have not fixed yet, right? So you need to, t and I keep telling, I told Stephanie tonight, and I keep saying her name because I want her to book this role. So I'm going to say book, 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 get book, get book. Um, we all have isms, and that's what I wanted her to know, and that's what I want you to know. Whenever you're gonna watch this video, for those of you watching live or later, we all have things that we do. And once I started to understand what those are, not hide them, tape myself consistently, even without having auditions. I don't care if you pick up, I got a W-9. I don't care if I'm picking up a W-9 and reading the words and on camera. Keep taping yourself on camera so that you can catch what your isms are. Do not wait until your big audition. Do not wait until your big meeting. Do not wait until that callback. Figure out what those things are now. Because there's a movie I did, I'm gonna plug it just cause hey, why not? I'll type it in the comments. It's called The Retrieval. The Retrieval. I did a movie called The Retrieval. It's on Netflix. Um, great film. Check it out. Give me some residuals. But in this movie, I remember when it came out, I got a compliment from some actors and they were like, wow, you must have read Michael Caine's book about not, and when he talks about not blinking. And I was like, yeah, sure I did. No, I hadn't read it yet. I read it later. But Michael Caine's talk, and I've, re I've recommended this book to a lot of you all, gosh, earlier on in the Actors Daily Bread series, where he has a whole section about not blinking. And I, want to, and I had to really embrace that strength was in stillness. And so where I, back in the day, would be like, yeah, and blah, 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 blah. I learned the, the power of, what are you saying? Are you saying that we should go or stay? And understanding the power in my stillness, the power in my body. And so I had to literally practice not blinking. I had, so for me, it felt like staring. I was like, why the hell am I staring? So for me, it feels like I feel crazy. The person on the receiving end, which is the camera, just sees me being present. Blinking a lot looks uncertain. 
It looks like you don't know what you're doing. It looks like you have some kind of crazy tick. It's the eyebrow things. You have to learn how to show emotion without, ha I used to have all my emotion right here. Man, I look at, back at some of my old self tapes and I'd be like, yeah, that's why I wasn't booking. Right there, all that, all that right there. So I'm grateful for the casting directors who called me in anyway, who, who saw my potential, and I'm grateful that I kept taping. But the beauty in when I didn't book jobs was I got to keep watching. My husband sometimes, I know, thinks I'm very self-indulgent, and I am. Hey, I'm an actor. I'm all about myself sometimes. And I will watch my self-tapes over and over and over and over again. And then I'll retape a self-tape from a year before for something that I didn't book to see, can I improve? Did I improve? I'll take that, if it was a big part that I didn't book and I felt like, man, I felt like I could have killed it, but I didn't. I'll take that scene and go to uh, a coach. I'll hire a coach for an hour and just work on that scene. And yeah, it's already been cast, it's over with, but I do it so I can learn, so that I can be ready. I don't have to get ready. Y'all, I don't, I don't want y'all to have to get ready. Just be ready and you can be ready now, okay? So that is my number one tip for crushing your self tape. And another tip, you know, and then, hey, listen, for, if you're just, if you're enjoying these tips, make sure you're hitting the like and the subscribe button. If you're watching on YouTube, hit subscribe. You guys, I'm trying to build my YouTube community as well. So these videos are going both places. Um, I'm trying to get this, this information out to the masses, to all those actors out there who want to book more work, who want to be on TV and film, okay? So I appreciate you and I thank you for that. Um, shout out to all my members of the Get Book Mastermind community. You know who you are. I love you guys, and I hope you're doing the work. If you want to get my free Get Book checklist, the link is above or below. Just we'll see the link there. But another thing before I wrap and get started packing, shout out to ATL. I'm coming home. Um, my husband's not as excited. <laughs> um, but my last thing in closing is remember that the more you self-tape, and I know y'all. some of y'all get tired of hearing me say, Christine, I need to keep practicing. Keep practicing because here's the thing. Self-tapes, whether it's a self-tape at your house or a callback director session or pre-read with a casting director, for those of you who are brand new, a pre-read is when a casting director brings you in to read for a role, even though, because they're just not sure about you yet. Maybe they don't know you, right? They just are not sure, so they're gonna bring you in for a pre-read. So that means you may have to come back again to actually read for the director or something like that. So that's just, pre-reads are great because they're just trying to get to know you. So make sure you go. But either way, don't keep worrying about the person in front of you. You worry about that camera. You act for the camera. You don't act for the people in the room. That is the biggest tip I can give you and I got, I need you guys to get it. Because all they do when they get done with their day of interviewing 100 people is go home, plug that camera in, and watch those tapes all over again. And if you can't deliver on a tape in, the, in a studio with a horrible backdrop, you're not going to be able to deliver, to deliver on set. Period. That's what you're telling them. So you have to be able to work within this little bitty space. You have to be able to captivate me. You have to be able to draw me into your world, not have all these isms going on like I used to and you have, and know that you have it under control. When you do that, then they feel secure. Then they forward your tape on to producers. Then they let you get booked. Thank you for the hearts. Thank you for the love. I'm glad this is resonating with you. So. In closing, keep taping yourself. Even if you don't have an audition, keep taping because let me tell you, pilot season's gonna come around. We're in episodic now, they're still casting. Pilot season's coming up mid-January. You don't just eat turkey, bacon, not turkey, bacon. Don't just eat turkey and ham and yams. Where did my light just go? Y'all see that? Hold on. Lord, I didn't lose the power now. My light just flickered. <laughs> Um, don't just use the holiday. I love the holiday because it's such a brand new time and you have that time when you're, um, after you eat dinner and after you're chilling with family, you can be taping, get your cousin, your brother, somebody to read with you. So I know I've said a lot, but I say it because it's so important. Y'all, I mean, I'm leaving for Atlanta tomorrow. God bless. Wish me some safe travels. I was scheduled to just shoot one TV show, but then I booked another one off a of tape. 
I got asked to come for a callback and couldn't even make the callback because I was working on something else and they booked me off my tape. I need y'all to hear that. The same can happen for you, but you got to perfect your skill. It's not just about how good of an actor you are. Do you know how to tape yourself? Do you know how to work the camera? Treat that camera like a, like a man, like a sexy man or a sexy woman. You want to just I don't know what's the word. I've used it before. What's the word, Christine? Seduce. That's the word. Thank you for the hearts. You just want to keep seducing this camera. Just keep seducing that space. When you want something out of life, you want something from your mate or your boo, you like, yeah, can you just, you know, get that for me? <laughs> but that's what it's like. That's what self tapes are like. And when you start treating that lens, like you own it, like you are in control of that lens right there, baby, you will see magic happen. All right, I'm gonna go. I gotta pack. I gotta pack. Yeah, that's what I gotta do. I really don't, I hate packing, y'all. I toured with the Lion King for five years, and man, I got so tired of packing. Man, when you have to move your whole life every four to six weeks, you start to feel, you get really good at it. I'm a beast at it. I just dread it. Anyway, I love you guys. I'm so proud of all the work that you've done. Even those of you who I don't talk to every day. I know there are those of you who don't even leave comments, who don't let me know you're watching, but you watch. And I know that we are a part of each other. And I'm so grateful for that. You are special. You are loved. You are gifted. Don't give up. Yes, this industry is hard. If it were easy, everyone would do it. Everyone's not meant to do it, but you are. And I believe in you and keep showing up. If you're not a part of the Hollywood Bound Actors Facebook group, the link is above or below. Just join us. And I'm going to do some special training. I'm sure when I go to Atlanta, I'll have some time on the weekend. So I want to do, I think I'm going to do a special training this weekend, maybe Saturday. So leave a comment below and let me know what you want to learn about. Should we do more self-taping talk? You need some tips, tricks? You know, if you don't tell me what you want, I don't know how to serve you and deliver it to you. So let me know. I think I'm going to have some off time on Saturday. So I'll do a special training for my Hollywood Bound Actors group and let me know what you guys want, okay? Have an amazing night. Remember, this is Actors Daily Bread, episode 102. If you've missed any episodes, catch up. And this is Actors Daily Bread, where I help you crush your auditions, book more work, and live a life you love. I love you. Have a good night.